What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video where we're going to be talking about players, right? So obviously the new update is going to be upon us quite soon. We're going to have a new season update and obviously players are going to be getting boosted, nerfed, taken down in their stats, increased in their stats. Um, player skills are going to change. Everything is going to be kind of different with the new season, seasonal update for the new season. Obviously, with the Premier League kicking off, the La Liga kicking off, all the leagues, the main leagues kicking off in August, okay? So, we have decided to do a video and redo a video that we did way back in eFootball 2022. I will do an extra video and another video for different players that you want for different tier lists and stuff like that. It's something that I kind of started on the channel about, you know, 12 months ago, and we are going to be redoing that now again all the way up until eFootball 2024. And then we're going to continue on with eFootball 2024 with, you know, the best goalkeepers for all budgets, left backs, right backs, center backs, all the way through to center forwards, hidden gems, all that sort of stuff. But one thing that I've been getting asked over the last couple of weeks, especially when people are kind of starting off with the game or else that they've been playing the game for a long time, they're just getting a little bit bored with the current kind of crop of events and stuff, is young players, right? Wonder kids. And these are the best. This is a list of the best wonder kids in the game currently. Um, we will take budget into consideration for some of them, but this is the list. It's 10 players. Let me know if you enjoy these guys. They play way above their stats. They're super fun to play with. And if you're looking for something different, give these guys a try. All right, so the first player we're actually going to take a look at to kick us off is going to be Roca, who has signed for Barcelona. He won't be playing for Barcelona until next season, but this guy looks insane. Now, I actually had him recommended to me by one of my users or one of my um, subscribers. Um, I think it was Nas that recommended him, so shout out to Nas. This guy is insane. This is him trained up as a really dominant hole player. He's only 17 years of age as an SS, goes to an 85 overall, mid 80s in every stat that you could possibly want, including 83 balance, which is key, and then 90 acceleration. With the player skills, with everything else that you see going on in this card, it's an insane card, lads. Trust me, this is a beast of a card. I've used him quite a bit on my road to glory in a couple of live streams, and he does not disappoint. Next up, we do have Alejandro Frances. This guy is playing with Zaragoza, and he's a beast as well. 84 center back, and he goes to around that 85. You can get him to depend on how you train him. I used him in the Spanish League Challenge. He's only like really cheap. I think he's about, yeah, eight and a half thousand or around that. He's got blocker, interception, sliding tackle and acrobatic clearance. And he also has unwavering form, which is huge when you're buying a player like this, especially if you're starting with a young squad. It is very fun to play with a young squad that you can just build up and get loads of trainer points and train them in different ways and just have a bit of crack doing different formations and having kind of a master league experience within Dream Team, you know, especially on the lower divisions um, or the higher divisions when you're in division like eight to five, maybe you can, you can play with a lot of these players. 90 tackling, 91 engagement, defensive awareness and aggression going to be 87 each and a whopping 80 acceleration for a player that has pretty much everything going for him here. And then we're also going to take a look at Arda Guler. This guy has already got an MVP, an end season MVP card, which is one of the best cards that they have released for free. And he also has his standard card, which goes to around 56, 57 levels. He's a classic number 10. Um, he's really, really cheap. He's obviously signed for Real Madrid. So he's going to be getting a boost, but he does go to an 80 overall attack and midfielder. And it's really about the player skills with this guy. He's got everything that you could possibly want. One touch pass, double touch, cut behind and turn, soul control. And if you throw a couple of more on him, you will definitely have an all round classic number 10, which is a very unique play style if you're looking for something different. All right, next up, we have got the Germany national team teammates, Mukuko and Adiemi, right? These two boys are kind of interchangeable. I think they're going to have a big say on Dream Team with eFootball 2024 because of two key stats that they have. So the first one here, as you look at, is acceleration. They both have really high acceleration here. They're both quite cheap as well. I mean, Adiemi is only 40,000 and Mukoko is only 17,000 as of right now. He's only 18 years of age if you want to buy him. 17,000 is really, really cheap for a player that has got super sub, double touch, acrobatic finishing and first time shot. And then he can also play as an SS. And then Adiemi, he can play through the middle as well as SS and left wing, right? Absolute beast. When you train him up here, I mean, you can see 98 acceleration with 89 balance. They're the two most key stats for small base players. But this guy isn't that small. He's quite strong on the ball. 
and Adeyemi is going to bring it in as well with 89 dribbling, 82 balance, 97 speed and 97 acceleration. If you've not used these two boys, I would definitely recommend having them, um, having them on your bench as super subs. They are both extreme beasts at the at uh, making a difference in impact players. We also have Harvey Elliott, uh, who's down as an AMF, but he can play as a right winger as well. Excellent player skills, excellent stats. Kind of plays a little bit like two players we're going to see at the top of the list. Has that same kind of creative um, flow to him. And he, of course, has already got a Derby Day card as well. So expect him to have a big say at the start of the game, especially that he's only 19-20. A lot of people are going to be buying him, in my opinion. But that's just me. I mean, some people will say that he's not that good, but I definitely feel like he is definitely a good player that you could build around. Now, look, no wonder Kid List would be complete without possibly one of the most exciting players in world football at the moment, Jude Bellingham. He's after getting a transfer, obviously, as well. And he is probably going to be, I would say, on everyone's wish list for, to see what his rating is going to be. Uh, unwavering form, excellent player skills. Everything about this card is phenomenal, right? When we do train him up, he goes a whopping 32 levels, um, which is really, really good if you're looking to kind of like stack a card and have excellent ball control, dribbling, tight possession, speed, defense capabilities. You can train him up in multiple different ways. I know he is expensive on the list at 260,000. That is true. But I do feel like he is definitely a player that is a game changer that can continue on that you build around. And then after a couple of matches, you will see with his training that he has become like an end game type player that can compete with epics and stuff. Obviously, we've had different versions of that card as well. I've played with Bellingham quite a bit and he's a superstar at the start of the game. We also want to take a look as well at this guy who will get up here on eFootball DB. He's very, very cheap in the game. He's down as a prolific winger. Uh, Doku, he's a brilliant, brilliant player. 90 dribbling, 90 balance, 96 acceleration. This is what I talk about when you talk about perfect wingers, like absolutely perfect wingers that can do it all and really never let you down at all um, when you're looking at a winger just to be able to have an impact for you and just pure blister and pace, speed and strength. And then last but not least, lads, we do have the Barcelona Dua, Dua, Dua Lipa, Duo. The Barcelona Duo, Gavi and Pedri. Gavi is going to come in at number two on the list because I genuinely think Pedri is probably top five players in the game. But Gavi is not to be sneezed at either, lads. Excellent player skills. Everything about this card is phenomenal. He is kind of like a cheaper version of Pedri. He's down for 96,000 at the moment if you want to do spin for him and get him. He's quite cheap. Double touch. Soul control, heel trick, one touch pass, insane stats, and obviously he has got fighting spirit as well. He can train up to be an absolute machine, right? Especially defensively with that 85 aggression while still maintaining 88 ball control, 89 dribbling, and 91 tight possession with 88 low pass, 80 acceleration, and 88 balance. I mean, chef's kiss, absolute perfection. And then last but not least, we do have Pedri, right? So Pedri is the type of player that I think is definitely a game changer. He is the third, fourth most expensive player on the Barcelona listings at the moment. Excellent. Especially when you get rid of the team play style proficiency, you will not need to worry about that after the next update. He's got unwavering form. I mean, he's three times the price. That does come into the equation a little bit, I suppose. But he's probably, in my opinion, the best center midfielder in the game, attacking midfielder in the game. Trains up to be an absolute menace as well. He's had so many different versions of him. The Spanish pack version was beastly. Look out for a club pack featuring Pedri and Gabby Leds because if, does, if one does come, it will be one of the best versions of the card. And I reckon that in eFootball 24, he's even going to be better in eFootball 2024. Brilliant stats across the board. Everything perfect except for defense. And he is your ultimate attacking midfielder and link up man with your strikers. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back with another few of these videos. Let me know if you liked them. Let me know what else you want to see. Suggest some more for the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm running out of breath. All right, lads, that is it for me. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Let me know who else you want to see, what list you want to see me do next. And uh, I'll talk to you in a bit.